Hi, and thanks for watching 3dmotive.com. My name is Amos Legers, and in this tutorial we will go over on how to use color grading in CryEngine 3. So, let's get started. So first of all what you want to do is you want to open up the internet, go to Google and type in CryEngine color grading, and then pick the first link, which will be the documentary, or the documents of the color grading. So, let's then of course you can read it, uh, everything here will explain the same thing as I will explain. So basically what you want to do is you want to go down to where you see the color chart and then just open it up in a new tab. So now we have this color chart over here, so just leave it like this. So in CryEngine I use the airport scene of CryEngine. So let's just, what you want to do is you want to make a screenshot of your scene. In my case I'm using ShareX, but you can also use any other screenshot program. So just make a screenshot, press OK. So in my case it will open up in internet, so just my, I will just save my folder to my desktop and then you can just drag and drop it into Photoshop like this so now you have your screenshot in Photoshop don't mind the quality that's not important so now what you want to do is you want to go back to the to the internet and then press copy image and then on your color grading chart then go back to Photoshop edit and paste and now just drag this all the way at the bottom over here so now you've done this what you want to do is well I like to keep it organized so I will make a folder called images and in there I will keep all these and I will make a well and I will leave it like this actually because it's just a quick folder so now basically a color chart with a color chart you can change the color, the levels, the saturation and everything inside the scene so you can make everything very dark or very bright or even purple or green or red whatever you want so you don't need to get too crazy with this because then the engine can't keep up with the colors so for example if you make it very very bright and very very purple or something like that um, in CryEngine it will always be a little bit less so keep that in mind so what you want to do is if you go to image and then adjustments once selected the um, image image and then adjustments in here you can find all kinds of adjustments but what I like to do is I like to open up the adjustments panel and then I like to just click for example let's change the levels then go back to layers and make sure that it's on top um, since now this is a an uh, extra object this is very easy because now we can just edit it uh, see? so we can edit it multiple times so like if you would do it by going to image then it will always be stuck on the image once you press ok now we can always come back and just edit it you can also go down here at this little mount and in here you can also find these things so let's go to the levels let's change the levels a bit let's make it a bit darker maybe a bit brighter to give the to give it more contrast like this let's go back to layers and let's add another one let's add um, let's say a color balance we most of the people always use the color balance that so I want to make the scene a little bit more blue of course I can go very crazy and make it all the way blue so like make it something like this so for, this is just a tip of course you need to spend or you can spend a lot more time on it once you are making it for real you can also edit the U and saturation to give it a bit more like this and like this you can uh, you can use almost all these settings 
um, don't paint on the image because that won't show up in the final result it will only mess things up so only use these um, adjustments so basically once you have done that what you want to do is you want to go down and let's select a layer and then press flatten image it's just outside my recording area but you will find it and then leave it like this and then what you want to do is you want to go to file save as um, let's save it wherever you want so I will save it here and I will call it um, airport color just like this and then save it using the Crytiff plugin uh, the Crytiff plugin comes with CryEngine so if you have CryEngine it's supposed to be installed too so press save and now we get this little window uh, uncheck tiled set uh, it to color chart over here and then press generate output and then press ok so now if you open that folder over here then we will have our image and our DDS so we, uh, we need to use the DDS so what you want to do now is actually you want to close CryEngine because you can do this with CryEngine on so make sure to save your scene and close it then what you want to do is you want to go to your CryEngine folder like this so in the root of your CryEngine folder type in the search bar textures.pack and then you will get this file uh, open this file with WinRAR or any other program that can open packed files and then what you want to do is you want to go into textures and then into color charts and in here you want to drag and drop your texture and repack it so basically just pick your airport color drag it in here and press ok so this can take a while because right now it's uh, oh in this time it's very fast sometimes it can take a while if you have a lot of data on it so now we have this airport color so what we want to do now is basically we want to reopen CryEngine again and then just pick your level and while it's loading what we want to do is we want to go back to our color grading over here and then you want to scroll down all the way until you find this example over here so once Square Engine is loaded basically what we want to do is we want to go to our internet copy this um, line then go back to Square Engine and in the console if you cannot see the console go to view and then show console and then paste it in there and retype the name uh, except for sample.dds make it airport color.dds and now comes the magic once you press enter you can see that it changed the entire color so now it's a lot different the entire scene looks different so that's why color grading is amazing it's really good so why now you have just your entire scene and if you would play the game you can see that it will just play with the game so to me it already looks a bit more realistic even though it's just a very quick adjustment so that's about it for color grading Pi engine i hope you found this tutorial useful my name is Amos Legers and thanks for watching 3dmotive.com